Let's take a walk through our next creative color grading profile named Daily Bread. We made a group of 3D LUT profiles that work great on images where skin tones are important. Light filled spaces need a variety of treatments for the quarter and midtones, and where contrast is also important in isolated areas. So these work on a wide variety of images, including editorial, wedding, infant, and many others. So once you load these profiles, you'll be able to find them in Adobe Camera Raw and Lightroom. I'm working in the Adobe Camera Raw workflow. I'm gonna open my first image and start applying the looks. As you can see, because of the nature of the lighting in this situation, the figure is really dark. So I'm gonna crank up the exposure until I get something close to what I like on the figure and then recover some of the information in the highlights and whites that I may have lost. Maybe a bit more contrast. Bit of clarity to add a little more punch, dehaze. Also might back off the vibrance just a touch. And those are my balancing moves. It doesn't need to be super scientific. I just need to get it into a place where it's balanced and I can start looking at the possibilities in this group called Daily Bread. So once again, I've got my base look here, Adobe Color, so I can always return to it. Your browser may look a little bit different than mine. I've got it simplified for this demo. So immediately you can see that we've got 10 looks in Daily Bread that all have a slight subtle shift between them. You can even see that in the browser thumbnails. But I'm just gonna start going through. First is Baguette. Now this is our weigh-in by lightening the mids, reducing the saturation of the yellows in the sunset, which I think in this case is a good move. We can still keep that um, sense of warmth, but there's a fine line between oversaturated yellows and the ones that read as cream. Baguette does a great job. On to rye, slight more yellow across the board. Hollow is a slight more desaturated green. Pumpernickel, a little bit more rosy. Focaccia fills in the midtones. None. A slight hue shift into the cools in the midtones. Ciabatta lifts the blacks a bit. Now we can see some more dramatic color shifts in Borlango. Really beautiful blues up front and a touch back here. And Crumpet shifts those into the green hues. I actually like Borlango because I'm a sucker for a complementary color scheme. And we're keeping this entire creamy vibe up here and sort of popping it off with this foreground cool. Generally, warmth advances and cool recedes, but in lots of times we can flip that. And this has done a great job of just by chance having something cool up front. So that's gonna enhance the sense of space. This did a great job of that. And if I feel like that blue up front is a little bit much, I can dial it back just a bit in case it feels too forced. And I've got a fantastic image grade that really unifies this entire field of tonality. But let me open another image. So this is quite a different situation, quite a different lighting situation, different contrast ratio. We've got a lot more darks in this image. And the center figure is a lot lighter and has a lot more contrast in the higher tonal range. So I think I might actually open the shadows just a bit maybe in the blacks a touch, and bring some of the highlights down on her chest and shoulders. It's getting a touch blown out. Maybe open up the exposure just a bit. That's all I need to do, quick balance, and I can move into the profile browser. Daily bread. And I'm just gonna cruise through as I did before. Baguette, rye. Paula, pumpernickel, that's kind of nice. Focaccia, 
whole grain. Once again, that's clipping the white point down, which may work in some cases, not in others. But here, I think it's really unifying the tonal range. Non. Ciabatta is doing a nice job. It feels warm, preserving the grains. Looks nice in the flowers, too. Borlango, in this case, is really introducing a split tone into the shadows. And Kruppitz pushing that split tone to grain. There are a number of these that I think work really nicely. I think Focaccia in this case might be my favorite, but you know sometimes it's hard to choose because this pack is intentionally very subtle, very subdued, making small changes to increase the versatility right off the bat. One thing I need to do is actually reduce the exposure just a bit. It's a little bit too open. Now I see a little bit more about what this look does, I can go right back into my browser. And one of the things I noticed with this pack is that I actually have the opportunity to really crank up the amount and I can add more of the effect just to amp up everything that I'm saying to give it more punch before and after. Now what this pack does is a great job at giving me a range of looks that don't depart too much from the original image. And sometimes, lots of times with images like these, all we really want to do is simplify the message. And simplifying the message is the look. In this case, I really love Focaccia. It's done a fantastic job of simplifying the message. The greens in the background, which were much cooler, are now reduced. It's homogenized most of the warm tones in the image, which results in that creamy look. But it's also preserved a lot of the nice subtle greens in the bouquet and some variation in the skin tone too. Let's get the red of the lips, the cheeks, and the smokiness of the eyes. So that's why Daily Bread is such a wonderful pack because it's all about the subtleties. And that's been a look at Daily Bread using the Adobe Camera Raw workflow. And I can't wait to see what you come up with.